purchased a new cabin chassis and we repainted the existing box. I don't have the figures off the top of my head. I would say a couple thousand dollars to remodel the box. As far as the cabin chassis, that vehicle would have been due to be replaced irregardless whether or not we did the chipping, bought a new chipper or not. It was just in the vehicle replacement to be to be replaced. But I'm sorry, I don't have the figures for the exact upfitting on the box. Okay. So when, when we're talking $43,000, it's a little more than that because we did some upgrades to those boxes. Uh, you, you mentioned in your memo about tree trimming that it would take away from that. When you brought up, when we were talking about the chipper, it was that you were saying that you're going to do the tree trimming in the winter. Um, we haven't, I got one update from it. I did not see it in your memo of how much tree trimming was done over the winter. And how much are you planning to do in the summer or over the year? How much tree trimming are we plan doing this spring and summer months? Sure. Is that with brush collection being under street division if or not? If you did not have brush pickup. I would envision that we would commence with a ward by ward plan as we have already uh, placed in, in our outlook. We know that we have areas in town that have already previously identified. We're, walk, we're working through those now. Currently we completed a majority of the tree trimming requests that we had by neighborhood, those were completed and those were the ones that were given to you in an update. We have a list of about 71 trees right now that are due to be pruned, either part of the Emerald Ash Borer Program trim or removals. Once those are completed, then again, we're gonna go into a ward by ward program, but right now we're just cleaning up those last items from last year. Unfortunately, this winter was relatively harsh for us and didn't allow us a lot of time to go out and do some pruning as we would have liked. We did spend a significant amount of time in snow removal operations with the winter. So it wasn't as um, profitable as we would have liked as far as tree pruning. But again, I don't think the program um, was something that I'm ready to give up on. I think it's very promising. I like to look at the fact that we did not have any pruning citywide within the past several years. This year we had very limited storm damage due to snow and ice and calls for that, which means that the pruning at least we did do was proactive enough that caused us not to have to go out during winter snow operations and pull double duty because the heavy snow pulled down a tree branch that was pruned preventive preventative maintenance speaking. So I'm positive with that and I hope with years to come and the patients in order to complete this would we be even farther along? Okay. Um, we talked about cross training between the street department and water department before. Are we not doing that anymore? At one time we talked about that. Mr. Kramer? Although we're getting somewhat off the subject. Here. No, no, because it goes to employees. Uh, the motion on the floor is shall we terminate the contract to Winkler Tree Service? Okay, then we could call the question. Uh, Alderman Coles was seeking rec recognition. Let me hear what doing, and then we'll do call the question. Alderman Coles. All right. Uh, liability. Is it more dangerous? you got to watch out for the chippers, boy, because they'll, when you're throwing in branches, they'll pull you in. And uh, do you have to up your liability on workman's comp? Or do you, you know how many people got branches, uh, Bark thrown in the eyes, or got their hands hurt. Do you know of any? Because they have a million, they have a two million dollar contract for the guys that work work at Winkler. Mr. Kramer, uh, we're fully covered through Irma for running the chipper in any sort of operations. All of our staff okay. are completely trained in the use of that through the manufacturer. Um, the only individuals that do not use the chipper would be our seasonal staff. Um, we don't feel at this time, even with adequate training, that they are have the experience level that most of our uh, full-time staff has in order to, okay. to complete that task. But yes, we do have significant coverage through IRMA for that piece of equipment as well as training to uh, keep us safe in that respect. Question has been called, however, Alderman Cadella. 
Just, just a quick point of clarification. Something was said tonight about redundancy and overlap, and, and for anybody who's concerned about the facts, there's not. Allied has always picked up smaller than two inch in diameter, and for the last year, this other tree service uh, has picked up larger than two inch, and prior to that, it was City of Wooddale. There is no overlap of services. There never has been. The question has been called. Are you seconding the calling of the question, or do you have further comment? Is there a second to calling the question ending debate? If not, oh, there is. All in favor of saying aye? Aye. Opposed? No opposed. Uh, the ayes have it. That brings the motion on the floor. The motion is to terminate Winkler Tree Service. Roll call. Alderman R. Wesley? Yes. Alderman Winger? Yes. Alderman Lewiton? Yes. Alderman Cadalla? No. Alderman Shockey? Yes. Alderman E. Wesley? No. Alderman Coles? No. Alderman Police? Yes. Motion passes. Uh, does that include your report? Yeah, Mayor, can I add one thing on the... Uh, Alderman Wesley. Uh, then my direction now is which way, if we cancel this contract, where are we going with brush pickup? Uh, why don't you bring it up in the next committee meeting? Okay. Uh, it brings us to Finance Administration, Alderman Winger. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'd like to make a motion to approve a resolution authorizing the City of Wooddale to enter into a contract with Allied Waste Services of North American LLC for the removal and collection of garbage, refuse, and ashes from identified residential and public property within the city limits. Is there a second? Second. On the question? Alderman Cadella. Just want to stay on record that I think it's a bad idea that we're helping Allied make more money by making a change to our, our service on any level. I don't think it's a good idea to change uh, and split into two different days. That's why I will be a no. Alderman, please. Um, bottom line, the fuel surcharge, gas is already going up. I think I saw it in some areas already over $3. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it's going to be moving up quicker over the summer. Right. Basically, everybody's cutting back. We're gonna get a discount for a year and then we're gonna get four and a half percent raises after year after year on that. I don't like it. Anything further? Roll call. Alderman Lewiton? Yeah. Alderman Police? No. Alderman E. Wesley? No. Alderman Cadella? No. Alderman Winger? Yes. Alderman Coles? I'm abstained. Alderman R. Wesley? Yes. Alderman Shockey? Yes. That passes. That passes resolution R-10-07. That conclude your report? Yes. Uh, we do not have any other business. May I have a motion to the bills? Alderman Winger? I make a motion to approve a list of bills dated March 18, 2010 for the total amount of $222,013.39. And, and what I would like to, um, I apologize, there is a revised figure. I must not, it, it must have been in my door when I um, left the house. Okay, so the, the revised figure is uh, $210,264.10. That's your motion. Is there a second? Second. On the question? Alderman Wesley. Mayor, on page 17, we also need to remove that check for $850 since you just canceled the recognition dinner that there is a bill out there still. And I want to make sure that check does not get paid out. So you need uh, to minus $850 off the figure that she just announced. Is it mover in, uh, Alderman Winger, do you agree? Uh, yes. Second or agree? Yes. Anything further? Roll call. Alderman Lewiton? Yes. Alderman Shockey? Yes. Alderman R. Wesley? Yes. Alderman Cadalla? No. Alderman Winger? Yes. Alderman Coles? Yes. Alderman E. Wesley? No. Alderman Police? Yes. That passes. There are no items to be referred. There are no items for information only. Uh, we do not need an executive session. May I have a motion to adjourn? Second. Is there a second? Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Great.